Welcome to the New Earth Christian Church. Welcome to the New Earth Christian Church. Welcome to the New Earth Christian Church. It's where we are. Worship praises. Just another day that the Lord has kept me just another day that the Lord has kept me Yes, he kept me from all evil, children, my mind has been stayed, stayed on Jesus, just another day. Oh, the Lord, he has, oh, let me tell you, he's really kept me, amen, hallelujah, amen, amen. amen. <laughs> thank God, praise the Lord, just another day, when I think about God's grace, it is amazing. Oh, yes. yes through many toils and stripes, I said I've already come because of his grace. Amen. Lord, Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Through all others. God's grace. His grace is sufficient. Know that. God's yes. grace is yes. sufficient. Yes, Lord. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Praise God. <laughs> Good morning, family. Good morning and, and happy new year. Happy. happy new year. As always, it is so great to see you. But it's best to today because uh, we've all moved into this new year together. Unified, God's grace. Amen. Unified by grace in God's church. And that's what God wants from us, from his family. He wants unity. He wants tolerance. Yeah. He wants us to be tolerant even of those who are different from us. Yes. And whom we don't necessarily agree with. Yes. But see, that's the church. <laughs> we don't always agree, but we always have to be tolerant one with the other. I have to tell you this morning that, that, that I've been seeing God working in our lives big time the past couple of weeks, especially since one of our daughters had the tragic automobile accident. But in addition to this, I've, I've had to do some, <clears throat> some recent soul searching. I have a neighbor that I have dealt with sometimes, but <clears throat> I don't necessarily like him, but I say like him, like being around him that much. And why is that? You see, he's one of those people who knows everything. <laughs> he's argumentative. <laughs> he's cheap. <laughs> Whenever we have, our, especially if in a concert or a fundraiser or something like that, he's always asking, can you, can you let me have some complimentary tickets? Can you give me a break? Never supports anything. <clears throat> but I always seem to have, but I always have his hand out for something. <laughs> See, for me, I, I think men should be uh, givers, providers, <clears throat> instead of always with that. Anyhow, that's, that's just my will, bringing my upbringing. And anyway, I, I was writing names for our Wednesday prayer line, and he kept <clears throat> popping into my head. <clears throat> I hadn't seen him for a while. The Holy Spirit was prompting me to call him. I kept saying, but I don't want to call him. <laughs> <laughs> and 
It's true. The, the, finally, the Holy Spirit won out. Uh, and, and I called him. <clears throat> and uh, and right, right, right now I can attest to this. I, I, I called him. I mentioned it to him. <clears throat> and and I found out that he'd had colon cancer. Wow. He'd had surgery. <clears throat> and he had other complications after the surgery. Then it was one thing after the other. <clears throat> when I found out, I, of course, I went to visit him and asked if he needed anything from the store. Well, when I would get ready to go to the store and purchase something, and I picked, I did some shopping for him. He wanted to talk, so I sat with him and talked a while. And his tone was changed somewhat. Mm -hmm. Long story short, uh, he, he needed help, but that was no one else around seemed to be helping him. I knew about him, but the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit prompted me. In fact, nudged me and said, get up, Larry, and go see about him. And, and I listened. See, and if you're Christian, you got to listen to that Holy Spirit when it nudges you, because there, there's always a reason. Know that. <clears throat> amen. 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 And, and yeah. in, a, in another scenario, I, I told you a reason that we, we had been delivering to homebound seniors right. uh, as part of our yeah, special yeah. ministry. Uh, Mrs. Dozier, Teresa, and I. And it is very rewarding. And all of the people are very nice. <clears throat> but I have to tell you, I was looking to connect with uh, some other. African American seniors in the area. Um, I wasn't thinking in negative about, about anyone else, but I was looking to connect with some more African American seniors in the area. But guess what? Yes. Most of the folk on my route are Asian and Latinos. Huh. A few African American, and that's all right. But here's my point God wants us to step out of our comfort zone this year. Yes. Amen. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. You see, doing his work is not always wrapped up so neatly and easily and pretty. <laughs> mm -hmm. Amen. 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 I went to one Asian lady's house. She was in her freezer. But we took the, I took the food in. She had me to come in and put, get. I put some stuff on her tray. And other, she said, "Put that in the refrigerator, or the freezer." And I. I place the food in there and uh, it was a weekend so we had some extra frozen dinner so that it would be you know to have something for the four days that we weren't going to deliver and her freezer uh, was full uh, and uh, I got the food in but it wouldn't close uh, and that was it wasn't so full that it wouldn't close there was something wrong with the door but she was confined to the bed so, so I, I couldn't just let the freezer stay open uh, so I found, uh, I looked around, I found an ironing board, a kind of heavy one, and propped it against the freezer door. And, and then I pulled up a chair and pressed it against the, the ironing board, and so the freezer door closed. And she said someone was coming later to take care of it and fix it. But at any rate, God is showing me that he wants us to strive toward inclusion and diversity. Yeah. wants us to see that ministry is, again, not always pretty. See, we do a lot of easy and pretty things. We, 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 uh, we donate to the Amen. Red Cross. We, we, we donate to, to cancer organizations. And, and that's all that is fine and it's good. And we, and, and we should do that. But sometimes ministry requires us to get our hands dirty. Yes, yes, Amen. sir. Yes, sir. Amen. But ministry... <clears throat> Yeah, so ministry requires more than just the pretty easy stuff. Uh, we, we just have to get in there, get in the game sometimes. We have to get off the bench, get in the game, get hit sometime, if you would, in the, in the sports world. You got to get out there on the football field. Amen. See, we have to deal with people other than those who look like us. But God loves all of his children. And while I know this, I've known this, it, it, it's really hit me in the face in the past two weeks dealing with what we've been doing. I asked God for this and he gave it to me, but look, he showed something else to me. <clears throat> See, he showed me a couple of things I, I would rather have not had to face, but I faced them. Because when you say you are a Christian, it requires more than just words. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Amen. Amen. And, and, and Mrs. Doe, she, she has been taking care of Two homes the past couple of weeks. 
She cooks for us, and then she takes stuff to our daughters. She yeah. shot for us for Christmas, and she shot for our daughters and our granddaughters. Yeah. Yes. And, uh, and I, I thought, where are some of those, uh, those, those other folks that were, were kind of in the picture? But nevertheless, uh, you know, Satan tried to get in and say, let, you know, let, let somebody do this or that. But anyway, we wound up having to, uh, you know, uh, clean a toilet here, the unstoppable toilet here, cook some, <laughs> run some errors, uh, <clears throat> taking care of some major expenses. Uh, see, <clears throat> see, and, and, and my wife, bless her heart, has been running like you would not believe the past two weeks. But this is what she does. This is what the a mother does. This is what the master is showing us that we must be doing as Christians. Ministry is not always pretty. Amen. Amen. It, it doesn't matter Amen. what others do. Uh, see, God is saying, I have expectations of you. Amen. So don't, don't worry about what they do or have done or have not done. See, God would Amen. deal with them in his own way and in his own time. But we must strive to do the right <laughs> thing all the time, whatever the situation. That much should be our goal. Yes, amen. amen. And amen. so I, I commend my wife this morning, who's been <clears throat> in, it's working like you wouldn't believe these past couple of weeks. And this was during the week and indeed the very day of our 43rd wedding anniversary. So, oh, amen. 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 Sweetheart, amen. I love you. Our anniversary was December 29th. Sweetheart, I just, I love amen. you. I know I told you that, but I'm going to tell you in front of all these people, make you blush a little bit. <laughs> I love you and I commend we, you for what you have been doing. We, we love her amen. too, Pastor. For our amen. family. Amen. Yeah, we I'm love her too. Michael. For both of our families. <laughs> Thank you. And for some of the things that, that I've been kind of grudgingly doing, <clears throat> As far as, as my neighbor I told you about, the Holy Spirit said, this is how you do it. Yeah. And, and while I know this, I, I still say, thank you, Lord. You open my eyes a little bit more. Now I can see. Thank you. My Lord, amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. Uh, see, we're, see we're, we're, we're on this battlefield, and we're, 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 and we're, we're growing uh, until God calls us home, uh, uh, until uh, the, things are changed. Yeah. And so, and we have to realize that this is this religious walk is this is a constant growth. So again, thank God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Now I see, but and now I see, and I just thank you for His amazing grace. Ooh, Great. Yeah. Thank, you. thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, thank you for obeying and pray with me, please. Father, thank you for. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Even when sometimes we think we can see all right. Thank you. Thank you for reminding us that all men and women have a right to experience your forgiving love, whatever the heritage or past sins. Oh. Have mercy. Thank you that from the beginning you had in your plan to save Gentiles, which Thank included you. me and included us. Yes, you, you had plans to, to save us even when we were your enemies. Yes. yes. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for your Jesus. grace and your mercy. Thank you that you have given us a way to show our thankfulness, our gratefulness, and our appreciation to you and for you. And that way is through your church. Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, your Lord. church, whose mission it is to tell all men and women everywhere that they can be redeemed and that they are worthy because your son, Jesus, who gave his life, to make it so he made them worthy, whatever the situation. Help yes, us to Jesus. see this clip today and to act accordingly, Father. This yes, is Jesus. prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. God will show you what he has for you to do. Yes, and, and maybe he's showing you right now. Thank you, Jesus. He, he had me, he kept placing on my mind to go visit uh, this brother. So, uh, yes, yes. so he'll show you what he wants you to do. And, and actually, what is that burning thing in, in your heart that you want to do but have not made the step yet? Yes, yes. That's God speaking to you. <clears throat> Listen carefully and then step out on faith. <clears throat> God yes, needs yes. you to do this to show the world the power of faith. 
Mm -hmm. I want to remind you that it is necessary for you to have your name on, on, a, on a church road somewhere, so God's spirit in church. And I want to tell you why that's important. I want to remind you that God has chosen the church to be his mouthpiece and to be his hands and feet in the world. Mm -hmm. That is the doers of his word. <clears throat> I want, I want to let you know again uh, that God wants to display his power through you in such a way that the others will know it is the hand of God that works in you. I want to remind you that you need the power of God to stand in this evil day. Yeah. And the power of God is the church, which is God's people, not a building, God's people. <clears throat> See, God needs you to be a witness so that others might exclaim, oh, yes, now I see. Thank God. <clears throat> uh, we're going to look briefly in Isaiah chapter 60, verses 1 through 6, where uh, the prophet Isaiah exclaims, arise and shine, for your light has come. Nations will come to your light, because now they see. Amen. And in Matthew Thank chapter 2, you. verses uh, 1 through 12, we're going to look at the wise men uh, who followed the star to where the baby Jesus lay. For their eyes were open, and they saw the light. Amen. <clears throat> then in Ephesians chapter 3, verses 1 through 12, Paul talks mm -hmm. about God's marvelous plan for the Gentiles, and many saw the light. And that's why we are here today. <clears throat> So, so in Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1 through 6, Isaiah is talking about the future kingdom, the glory of Zion. Listen to what the word said. It says, arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. The light has come, therefore now I can see. Verse 2 says, see, darkness covers the earth, and thick darkness is over the peoples. But the Lord rises upon you, and his glory appears over you. The darkness was sin, but Jesus came to remove this darkness, for he is the light of the world. And the darkness can't stay when the light comes. The two just don't mix at all. <clears throat> the Western nations will come to your light and kings to the brightness of your dawn. <clears throat> See, Isaiah prophesied the 700 years before it occurred, speaking about the restoration of Israel and how the light of God's city would be so evident that people from everywhere, all nations, would come to the city of God and come indeed to God himself. <clears throat> Part of this was fulfilled in the earthly realm in Israel as the Jews have a land of their own and many have come home to Israel from other foreign lands <clears throat> and, 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 and will be uh, fulfilled in the greater sense when Christ takes full control after defeating Satan and we enter the new heavens and the new earth. Talked about in Revelation chapter 21. <clears throat> he goes on to say, lift up your eyes and look about all assembled and come to you. Your sons come from afar. He said, then you will look and be radiant. Your heart will, be, will throb and swell with joy. The wealth on the seas will be brought to you. To you, the riches of the nations will come. And once their eyes were opened, they brought their valuables to pay tribute to the real king, King Jesus. Isaiah saw this from afar off. <clears throat> he said, herds of camels will cover your land. Your young camels of Midian and Ephah, and all from Sheba will come bearing gold and incense and proclaiming the praise of the Lord. <clears throat> now, this was written in Isaiah's day when transport of wealth <clears throat> and, and, and materials uh, was completed by ship and, and on camels, and, as he talked about. But, but today, that would be on planes, trains, and, and automobiles, if you will, through the postal service, <clears throat> Amazon, Giblify, PayPal. Appreciative people, in other words, would pay tribute to help build God's kingdom. And they would give abundantly, and God's kingdom would keep increasing. This is true for organizations as well as for individuals doing God's work. In other words, you will be blessed. Yes. 
So I ask, has God given you a work to do? And I say, like Nike, then just do it. Uh, are you doing it, but you don't quite yet see the abundance uh, that is talked about here? And I said, you be encouraged. This message is for you. Stay the course. course. Your day will come. Your reward will come. Just keep holding on to God. And just as it says in Psalms 37, 4, delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Amen, <laughs> amen. Yes. Of your heart. He knows what you want. He knows what you need. He yes. knows what is best for you. He will give you the desires of your heart. That's Psalm 37, 4. I, I share that with young people a lot because I want them to understand so many put other things first, but put God first. He can yes. make sure that you receive the desires of your heart. And I, I can say amen to this verse, but I, I'm a living witness. Uh, and I just said, thank you, Jesus. Took me a long time to see it in my young age, but now I see. Thank you, Lord. Yes, amen. Hallelujah. One desire of my heart is exactly what I'm doing right here this morning with you. <clears throat> There's nothing I'd rather be doing than spreading God's word, sharing his message. Yes, He'll yes. give you the desires yes. of your heart. Amen. He often, before you realize the desires of your heart, not to just say, hold to God's unchanging hand in 2023, and you too shall see God is faithful. God yes. is no re God is no respecter of persons. As I just said, he's, he's done it for me, but but the, as the old song says, what he's done for others, he'll do for you. Know this. Amen. Amen. Know Amen. This. And when you realize it, you are going to exclaim, now I see, thank God. And we're going to say it right along with you. We're going to shout hallelujah yeah. right along with you because when your eyes are open, you become a open. new individual, a new person. You're not that old person that you were yes, in 2022. Thank you, Lord. Right. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank As Reverend said, take no debris with you in 2023. Look to God first. Yes. yes. And he will give you the desires of your heart. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you. Jesus. In Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 through 12, we, we see visitors arriving in, in, in Israel from, from eastern lands. The word says, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, the Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, where is the one who, who has been born king of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. But when King Herod heard uh, this, he was disturbed. And it says, all Jerusalem with them was disturbed. Uh, and we had, uh, then King Herod called all the people together, the chief priests and the teachers of the law, and he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. And they told him in Bethlehem in Judea, and they, they replied because they told him the story. They knew it. They had st studied and searched. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out uh, what time they had first seen the star. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, go now and, and search carefully for the child. And as soon as you find her, report to me so, so that I may go worship him too. Will you do that for me? <clears throat> after that, after they heard the king, they went on that way. And, and that, when they left, that star that was there went ahead of them, guiding them until the stop of the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On, on coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh. Remember Isaiah's prophecies? And, and see, these, these, these wise men were from uh, foreign leaders, and those who studied such things, and they were from foreign lands that represented the world. <clears throat> and, and remember Isaiah's prophet, he said, nations will come to your light. He said this 700 years before. Here is that prophecy being fulfilled for the first time. <clears throat> and that, my sisters and brothers, was just the beginning. He's coming back. <clears throat> 
And, and, and you thought that, that were, these were great gifts the first time? Wait till you see all this coming with him the second time. And oh. there's going to be a second coming. Yes. See, the, the, first, the first time they brought gold, incense, and myrrh. Now, these gifts were symbolic and prophetic. See, gold was a gift fit for a king. And they recognized Jesus was the king. These are foreigners. Now, these, these weren't Jews. And incense was a gift for deity. They recognized that this baby Jesus was God in the flesh. And myrrh is a spice for a person who was going to die. And this baby Jesus, God in the flesh, came to die to take away the sins of the world. Your sins. Yes. And my sins. God's amazing grace. Yes, Lord. Amen. The word says, and having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, the, 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 uh, the wise men returned to their country by a different route. <clears throat> See, we know that Jesus did die, but we know that he rose again on the third day. <clears throat> we, we know that he went back home uh, to sit at the right hand of his father, the powerful Hand, that right hand, that right hand in instigates power means power. We know that he sits there interceding for us for the sin you committed last year. He's interceding. Mm -hmm. And for the sin that you're going to commit tomorrow, he's interceding. Oh, amen. yes, yes, you yes. are going to sin tomorrow. Yes, amen. See, we are so yes. flawed because of sin that sometimes we commit sin and don't even know about it. <laughs> My Lord, yeah. At other times, we commit sins with our eyes wide open. We have to admit that too. Yes. But if you belong to him, your sins are forgiven. Hallelujah. <clears throat> <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. If, Lord. it's conditional, if you would but become his child. Yes. Yes. If you would but ask. If you would but acknowledge him, if you would but bow down and worship him, yes, your sins are forgiven. Thank you, Jesus. Now, about those gifts from the wise men or the, or the major, major, as some call them, <clears throat> and if you think those gifts were something, and they were, they were very precious gifts at that time. But if you think those were something, wait till you see the gifts after his second coming. Paul tells us in 1 Corinthians 2, 9, he says, that eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, nor has the human mind conceived of the things God has prepared for those who love him. My Lord, yes, amen. Streets paved with gold, doors covered with precious Ooh. jewels, crystal clear water flowing through the heart of the city. I want to see. I want to hear. I want to marvel. I want to experience it. Yes, but, let's, yes, but let's get back yes. to the story. He said, uh, <clears throat> but the Magi saw and realized the child Jesus was a light that had somehow been revealed to them. These wise men traveled a thousand plus miles to honor the Savior. And some won't get up and go one mile and not even get on Zoom, but they travel thousands of miles. <laughs> They saw him and they honored him. And by their actions, they said, now I see. Thank God. They realized that they had been in the presence of God in the flesh. <clears throat> They'd had dreams, uh, visions of the Messiah, but now they saw him in the flesh as a newborn babe. And when they had seen, they went back home, a different route because they had, they'd had an epiphany. They saw, they came to res, uh, uh, res, uh, an agreement. They realized that King Herod did not want to worship the baby Jesus. He wanted to kill him. <clears throat> but they saw by way of the Holy Spirit and they obeyed. They went a different route as the Holy Spirit had told them. See, seeing is one thing, obeying is another. Amen. My brothers and sisters, as we begin to see, we must begin obeying if we want to be a part of God's eternal kingdom, which is surely coming. Just as surely as Isaiah's prophecy was fulfilled, Jesus Christ is coming back. 
and, yes. and we must and we and we must spread the news as a church. That is our job. Amen. In Ephesians chapter three, verses one through twelve, it talk, God talks about God's marvelous plan for the Gentiles. Now, this is the scriptures that, that, that really I'm excited about. And I think <clears throat> that once you really get it, you'll be excited about them too. Because it is in these passages of scripture that includes you and me. Makes it clear that we are included in God's promises and his family. And, and, and how we are to carry ourselves in light of this knowledge. <clears throat> Paul says, for this reason, I, the prisoner of Christ Jesus, for the sake of you Gentiles. See, Paul is telling them, yes, I'm in jail. And I'm in jail because of preaching this gospel to you. <clears throat> he said, but don't worry about that. See, Paul let nothing stop him from preaching the gospel. Here's a lesson for us. We shouldn't let nothing stop us from serving our God. Amen. We should let nothing stop us from serving our God. What assignment has he given you? He says, surely you have heard about the administration of God's grace that was given to me for you. <clears throat> In other words, surely you've heard that I've been the one sent to the Gentiles. <clears throat> and he said, and, and here's the mystery. The mystery made known, this mystery has been made known by revelation, which has not, was not been made to, known to other generations. <clears throat> he said, but it has been made by the spirit to God's holy apostles and prophets this mystery has now been revealed. And here it is. This mystery is that through the gospel, the Gentiles are heirs together with Israel, members together of one body and sharers together in the promise in Christ Jesus. Amen. Now, for someone who just don't quite understand what he's talking about here, he said, you know, the, 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 the Jews or the Israelites thought, that God came only to save them. No. Uh, but he chose them just to show whom he was through a nation. But mm -hmm. his plan all the time was to save all mankind, the Gentiles, which included us. All, all along, he had saving us as part of his plan. So that, that was the mystery that was revealed. That wasn't just for the Jews. It was for the Gentiles too, which included you and me. Thank God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise. Paul says, uh, Paul says, I became a servant of this gospel. He said, why? He said, to preach to the Gentiles the boundless riches of Christ. <clears throat> Those boundless riches, love, forgiveness, peace, grace, mercy, yeah. health, wealth, success, eternal life, and on and on and on. Amen. And, to, and to make plain to everyone the administration of this mystery which for ages past was kept secret. He goes on, he said, God's intent was that now, <clears throat> uh, this, this is really where we come in also to play more so. He said, God's intent <clears throat> was that now through the church, through the church, the manifold wisdom of God should be made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly realms. <clears throat> uh, so he said, according to he, God's eternal purpose that he accomplished, in Christ Jesus, our Lord. <clears throat> in other words, God is going to show his power through the church, through his people. <clears throat> the manifold, that means the many and varied blessings, the many and varied wisdom, all the wondrous things of God. God chose the church so that these things might be shown, which means <clears throat> that in the church, that diversity is a must. Inclusion is a must because one church, one individual cannot do it alone. He needs your gifts, my gifts, Reverend, right, right, Reverend R's gifts. He needs yeah. all of our gifts yeah. to show the world what an awesome God we serve. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 the Lord. He said, in him and through faith in him, we may approach God with freedom and confidence. Yes, look, we don't have Amen. to go to God with our heads down, scared, hold this, that he might strike us down or something. No, when we give ourselves to him, we can approach him in freedom and confidence. He said, yeah, I know you, I, that I know you were arrested in the past, but you accepted me, so I forgive you. Come on, what do you need? <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's what I, he said, and, and here's Amen. what I want you to do, Larry, and here's what I'm going to give you to do it. <clears throat> 
I want you to do this, and I'm going to give you the power to do it. Amen. Yes, amen. Amen. David, amen. I want you to face the Goliath, and I'm going to give you the power to do it. Yes, amen. Doja, I want you to go over there and deal with that neighbor that you don't like yes, so sir. much, and I'm going to give you the power to do it. Hallelujah. Yes, amen. I didn't do it on amen. my own. <laughs> you understand? Thank you. Sister Doja, I want you to do all this running around and taking care of kids and children and shopping and cooking and cleaning and, and taking care of your crazy husband, and I'm going to give you the power to do it. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yeah, yeah. I say that. I can't yes, do that too much because yes, people, who, people who know my wife, but where did she get the energy to do all this? It truly, <laughs> truly. Yes, much younger Amen. people, Amen. God has given us strength and energy and the mind to do it. Yes, the mind. Yes. Praise, and the mind God. To do it. Praise the Lord. God will give you the power to do what he wants you to do, for he must show the world of power for his churches, Hallelujah. and he does that through his people. Yes. Come on Hallelujah. now. Preach it. Amen. 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 Yes, he doesn't yes. always open the Red Sea or call the walls to come down or raise someone from yes, there. He right. does Thank it through you. ordinary people like yes. you. Like yes. yes, Lord. Thank right. you, Jesus. Thank Hallelujah. You. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. So now, it is Thank the mission you. and responsibility of the church, God's body, to make sure that everyone knows that salvation is available and free to them. Yes, yes, Lord. Free to them, oh, not free because Jesus paid a heavy God paid a heavy price. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, God paid a heavy price, gave his life. Thank but for you and me, it is free. Salvation is free. We don't have to hang on the cross. We don't have to have a crown in our hands. We don't have to have Thank the nails in our hands. Jesus paid it all. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My brother. Thank you, Jesus. This is Thank why the church you. exists. Yes. This is why the church is here. Which brings me to another point that I've talked about, tolerance. What is tolerance? <clears throat> tolerance is just a fair, objective, and permissive attitude toward those whose opinions, beliefs, practices, racial or ethnic origin is different from my own. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yes. We must love one another. <clears throat> we must love our neighbor as ourselves. We yes. must be good Samaritans. You know, Samaritans and, 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 and the Jews hated each other. But that Samaritan went over and took care of that man who, that Jew who was lying by the side of the road. Yes. And, and bruised. Yes. That's the story right there. Right there. So, so, my brothers and sisters, we must, as Brother Rodney King said a long time ago, strive to all oh, just get along. <clears throat> See, on my route that I was telling you about, delivering this food to seniors. I, I was looking to serve and minister to, to mostly older black folk. But God said, son, let me tell you something. <clears throat> Every created individual is my child. Yeah. Red, yellow, black or white, all the pressures in my sight. I learned that in grade school. I'm sure you did too, some of you. Yes, Lord, yes. But that is God's eternal message. Mm -hmm. All of my children. Oh. We must be tolerant and learn to love respect and witness to all people of all races, creeds, and colors, all God's children. Yes, amen, hallelujah. Oh, it's easy for me to just witness the black world, because I'm a black person, I came up and I know I'm, and I'm comfortable with it, but I, at this point I have witnessed to everyone, but I didn't realize I kind of had that bias when I was uh, delivering, when I signed up, because I wanted to touch more people in the community, but God said, yeah, you, you witnessing to enough black folks right now, you keep doing it, but I, that's some other folks I need you to get to, Larry. This message yeah. did not limit to any one race or one group of people. It's yeah. for all my children. Yeah. Thank God. God. Thank Lord. Thank my Lord. Thank yeah. God. Jesus. Praise God, Brother Harvey. Yes. yes. My Lord. Yes. Praise God. This is Paul's point. We are one. <clears throat> we are family. Yes. We are the human race. Nothing else matters. And so knowing this, to get the word out, let's look what Paul did. Paul wrote letters. He traveled. He supported missionaries. He was one himself. Paul collected and distributed money for other churches, tithes and offerings to support the work of the church. Paul corrected. When there were erroneous teachings, Paul corrected them. 
And if the false teaching continues, he threw them out of the church. Mm -hmm. That's part of it also. We must deal with the serious things that confront and disturb our church. See, this message of salvation is too important to mess up. Mm -hmm. It's truly a matter of life and death. Now, let me just go back to this point where Paul threw them out of the church, but that wasn't to throw them out permanently. It was so they could see their ways and, and be sorry and come back. And, the, and one of the gentlemen did. <clears throat> so that's the point. I, see, the, see, the discipline of a Christian, a church should always be to restore, reform, to bring back home the prodigal children or the disobedient kids. Oh, no, not to throw them out forever. Oh, no. It's no. a matter of life and death. <clears throat> Yes. And God wishes that all get accurate knowledge and be saved. Yes. All directed. He sent Titus and Timothy to different areas to preach or to manage the church functions. Paul protected. He prayed regularly for his preachers and his congregation. Paul fought for. He challenged naysayers, heretics, and others in the streets, in the synagogues, and in the Sanhedrin, which was the Supreme Court at the, uh, with 70 members, Pharisees and Sadducees, but he went in there to fight for God <coughs> and God's church. <coughs> Paul advocated. He spoke up for those representing true Christianity, individuals and congregations. So the church process has to be managed. Nothing just happened. It has to be guided and directed by men led along by the Holy Spirit. When I say men, that's generic. Men and women know that. Amen. Amen. See, sin separated us from God and from each other. See, see, mankind, we, we were in paradise, but we lost it when the first woman and man ate the forbidden fruit. Paradise can only be restored when mankind, <clears throat> when we are truly one again. That is why unity is so important. <clears throat> this is why accurate teaching is so important. We must be on one accord. We are one. <clears throat> yeah. When we are obedient, we are God likes. Mm -hmm. Our obedience is our power. Listen to that. In, in fact, obedience is our superpower, if you will. Yes, yes. It's the source that gives Mrs. Dozier the strength to do the multitude of things that she does. It's the power that causes me to, uh, again, deal with that neighbor that I didn't want to deal with. Yes, yes. We Christians must not be intimidated by anyone or anything or any circumstances, for we have the ultimate power. Yes, Lord. Amen. We must be willing to do God's work, his will at all costs and under all circumstances. This is what makes the world go wild when they see the unmitigated power of God displayed in little old human beings. Yes, Lord. Yeah. That's what Jesus did. That's what David did. That's what Joshua did marching around. You know, when people see they go wild. <laughs> so let's increase our faith in 2023. Yes, Lord, yes. Let's be obedient. Let's become one, unified under Christ, now and in the new heaven and earth to come. Let's baffle the world. Yes, let's, yes. Let, let's get out of our comfort zones in 2023. Yes. Let's be a people of action in 2023, doers of the word. Yes, yes. Ask God to show you how he will. Uh, let, let's, make, let's make it a point to witness to the most difficult people that we know in 2023. They need to hear it. Just like the brother I was telling you about when I got ready to leave, he, you know, this is rare. He said, man, let me, hug. he should, I was extending my hand. He's a man that I want to hug. I want to give you a hug. <laughs> my Lord. That, that's a true story. And I, you know, that's totally out of character for him. <clears throat> but he was so impressed by what I did for him. And he, he doesn't know that I had fight with God before I did it. He doesn't have not to that. <laughs> I just obey, but yes. I said, thank God, now I see. You know, we yes. tend to shy away from those who kind of rough and tough to talk to. Talk to. Yes. But God said, don't be intimidated. No. You know, let your actions be your message. Amen. Yeah, you don't have to try to preach your message, quote scripture, let your actions be your message. Remember what St. Francis of Azizi says, and I tell it to you all, all the time, preach at all times and when necessary, use words. Yes. Otherwise, that's just let your actions speak for you. <clears throat> it has been given to the church to handle the spreading of the gospel, my brothers and sisters. See, we as a church are to let everyone know on earth and even in the realm of invisible things that the church is the work of God. <clears throat> Amen. It, it survives because God is in it. Mm -hmm. Rather, the church is imbued with the God with God's Holy Spirit. <clears throat> 
This is why it has lasted so long and shall be sustained throughout eternity. <clears throat> there is still much work to be done amongst Gentiles, but among us Christians too. We have to let all know that the church is alive and well, despite the circumstances that come our way or the ones that we see and hear about on TV and on social media every day. <clears throat> we ought to let the word know, and Satan too, that there is no stopping us now. Amen. Amen. Which means Satan is doomed. <clears throat> As a church, we walk boldly and fearlessly. Yeah. For our God of the Bible, whose name is Jehovah, is expressing himself through us. <clears throat> So just as Paul revealed the sacred secret to the Gentiles in his day, so we are to deliver the message to a lost world today. Those who do not know Jesus and have and who do not have a relationship with him, we are to seek out of them and boldly give them the good news with our actions first. We must recruit, train, measure, test, and then send out properly equipped men and women with the good news. <clears throat> the only message of hope in the world today. Amen. Now we have heard. Now we know. Now we can say, thank God. Now I see. Happy New Year. This yeah. is the word of God for the people of God. Let the church say, Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Welcome to the New Earth Christian Church. Welcome to the New Earth Christian Church. Welcome to the New Earth Christian Church. It's where we honor, worship, praise His name. It's where we honor, worship, praise His name. Welcome to the New Earth Christian Church. Welcome to the New Earth Christian Church. Welcome to the New Earth Christian Church. It's where we honor, worship, praise His name. It's where we honor, 